Hi guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here today. Just going to show you today's install on a transit van. Um, now, just when you're buying these sorts of units for the transit, um, you know, basically much of the checks we do is dead easy. It's just the frame we sell with this unit comes with slide bars which go from left to right. If your system has none of these slide bars here, if it's blanked off, or if yours are going from top to bottom like that, then there's another system for the car. Uh, so obviously just do some checks with us beforehand and obviously we'll be quite happy to give you a consultation and um, let you know what the product is right for your car anyway. So this is um, on our 9456 model, let me just zoom in here, which is um, will fit cars with this uh, screen display or if it's got a blank and space here, um, it will fit that. Now we do two different variants of the cable one we've put in today is the one where I had the old LED screen here. Now, we'll pre-warn you, the cars with the LED screen, uh, that will become blanked off now. So, not blanked off, but it will become black, should I say. So, it's not going to have any power to it. But all your parking sensors, um, if your car's got parking sensors, will then come onto the system then. So, obviously, it's uh, the pros of that and the negatives of losing that. So, obviously, you get it on this system here. Uh, so, as you can see, this is the car play, which is we preloaded or sorry preloaded we set up for the purpose of the video to keep it short yeah i've linked my apple phone to it here so obviously this is where you get all your carplay apps also alternatively if you've got an android phone uh, you can have android auto on here too as you can see it's nice and responsive so this one uh, has an eight core processor in there with 432 gig of ram you can increase it up to 6 and 128 if you wish if you intend to be an avid user of this and obviously downloading all our applications so we'll just go back to the to the main homepage. this is our dh style 3 range which is a you'll find in the, uh, the sales page now i've got to apologize it is really sunny today um so you might get a little bit of glare on the screen as you can probably see my fingers and the reflection there uh, you can peel this off if you wish this little protective film on there so as you can see this is the home page you can change this if you want now we can give you some passwords to get into the back end settings and it'll give you a, a a selection of user interfaces which you can choose and change it or alternatively you can download apps like car launcher or gamma and that will change the skin of the system allow you to customize it a lot more than the home page than you can on this because you can't move none of these icons around here uh, here's the navi icon here and then you've got your fm am radio you've got your application center here your bluetooth and your video so if we just go into there I've got Google Maps which is pre-installed on the system. We'll need the data connection with your phone. Uh, I.e. you can use a 4G SIM card, which comes with a SIM card holder which goes in the glove box, or you can alternatively use your phone as a hotspot and get your internet connection that way. But as I say, there's no connection on this as, as of yet, because obviously is, we haven't put one on. Obviously it's not showing the Google Maps, so that's the reason why it's not showing. You'll have your FM and AM. Works with the sticks, works with the steering wheel controls. As you can see, You're listening. So as you can see me loading it down, so I'll just keep the sound off for the purpose of the video. So this is an FM AM radio. If you want a dab radio, you can go one or two ways. One is you can uh, buy our offline dab kit, which is 39.99 as of today. Um, and that'll give you an offline maps, but that comes with windscreen and type antenna. But you can simply download one from the Play Store. And have it as an online one, which needs a data connection with your phone or SIM card, or you can download the DAB app to your phone and it'll come on the CarPlay and the Android Auto app. But I will pre warn you not all um, DAB radio apps have signed up for CarPlay in terms of license and stuff like that, so some select ones will work and some, some won't anyway. So here's your Bluetooth, this is where you pair your phone through, and also you can have your music streaming too. Uh, so you can stream music from your phone through this application here video this is where you'd want to watch videos on there so you can watch put any films on a usb pen and play it through the usb cable today we've put it in the glove box go to the application center here this is where all the your apps would go into if you download any and a lot of these apps are from basically pre-installed into the firmware so they can't be deleted uh, but you got your play store there and you've got your bluetooth and your aux calculator this is the carplay app here it's basically it takes you back into there. Android Auto Soup, should I say. A couple of browsers like Chrome and stuff like that. Google Maps is down there, which is on the homepage. Music, 
again you can put all your music albums onto a usb pen and play it through the usb cable but a lot of people tend to just go down to like, youtube music spotify etc etc and you can just download them apps direct onto the system itself uh, go onto the next page as you can see nice and responsive very quick people always put little comments on our, on our, on our um, videos and posts and stuff saying does it lag and stuff like that as you can see there's no lag on it whatsoever it's quick as a tablet at home so there you go um okay so next one is Daisy radio which is on the home page settings takes you into the back end android settings which you can tinker around with there's obviously uh, different sound settings and stuff like that and there's a lot more to it than that and yeah, take you back out to the steering wheel control setup um, if your car comes if our system comes with a little digital CAN bus box then you don't need to use this app if it doesn't I eat an older car then obviously you'd use that one there where you'd set up your steering wheel controls uh, let's have a little look on small what else is here touch assist get rid of that little stupid button there so got rid of that that's just a, a short page short shortcut to that we hate that though so I'll just get rid of that uh, traffic so obviously the customer's gone for the DVR camera today which is up here as you can see there comes with an SD card so obviously if you didn't need to take any data from your uh, camera over to your PC you could take the SD card out but you can also customize uh, not customize sorry you can get any viewings of any recording set up and stuff like that so I'll just go back out on that one uh, vehicle settings okay this is a good little app here which we're playing around with before obviously if you've got TPMS on the car you can link it to there but obviously a lot of the vehicle settings which obviously you would expect on this little screen up here uh, you can access this so I'll just show you what it's got just one second let's go to the top so just to show you the options you can tinker around with here I say this might be might be applicable to some transit fans. It just depends whether the car's got it already up to now before putting our system in. There you go. You can see that one there. Okay. Uh, and what else we've got? Um, voice search and YouTube. That's pre-installed. YouTube. I'll say you need a data connection just like you would with Google Maps and the Play Store. Uh, this voice search is a good little tool if you want to use any of the Google services. So obviously, if you want to say, "Well, find me Liverpool Football Club," you could use that one. Obviously, it needs an internet connection, so obviously, it's it's not going to find anything. Uh, but obviously, you would speak to that, and then obviously, it'd find out where you wanted to go. Let's see, oh, it says you're offline there, so that's a good little app you can choose. Okay, so I think I've pretty much brought you summarised everything on this unit here. Uh, it's a nice little eight minute video for you there so if we haven't bored of my voice and, and um, if you've got any questions give us a call on the details in this description or drop a message to us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can um, yeah take care and I'll see you soon bye bye